Welcome back to Luck Be a Landlord, Apartment Floor 20. The current win streak is zero. I just did something stupid. I sat down to record. I messed up my intro and I'm like, why don't I start over? What a great idea. Uh, totally forgetting the stakes are at hand. So I reset the run. I'm, I'm like, wait, my win streak is gone. <laughs> uh i actually reset my intros a lot but this one was oh a bartender wow i got bartender into happy hour what the hell but now it actually matters because the wind streak's gone i normally don't care about just restarting over because yeah so what but now it matters i'll take a coconut maybe i'll grab a monkey maybe i'll grab mrs fruit i'll grab bubbles though so now I just got to be careful. You may have noticed that this run started with an extra B, and that's because I just skipped this first spin. I'm like, no, I'm not resetting two runs in a row. Not like it matters. The win streak is zero regardless. So I've just got to deal with that. Lucky Cat's pretty sweet. I do like plus luck odds. Brown Pepper and Rain Cloud are both good. I would say Brown Pepper's over Rain Cloud right now. But I think I like luck odds right now. I already got a really lucky start with that Lucky Cap. So I'll take another cat. Even better luck odds. And I got the happy hour synergy. Does that mean I take dwarf? I think it does. There comes a time where the beers become bad. And I need the dwarf to clean it up. Well, sometimes you just get a martini though. Holy hell, that's a start. I almost don't want to take a big urn. Is it super that it can be removed relatively easily in the future? Okay, bartender is kind of going to town. I'm glad I took that dwarf. Bubbles a tuper that removes itself. I did get a second beer. Oh, and the dwarf is thirsty. I think that was my issue. I just went to see a football game, had a beer, didn't have much water because the bubblers just weren't working, and now my voice is bad. It's not bad now, but it was way worse earlier. I almost want to get greedy and re-roll coconut half. Okay, so I'm really setting myself up for a monkey lucky carrot. Extremely rare stuff. Lose the coin. Nobody wants it. Take rabbits. Take... Well, hopefully lucky things. I feel like tubers aren't good enough anymore. How much am I spinning for? Okay, tubers are kind of good, which is awesome. This is insane luck odds. This is incredible. Rabbit's really good right now. Because, yeah, they give 3x more. Ooh, boy. Buffing or chemical 7? I feel like I actually want chemical 7 just to get a head start on the 777. Bartender makes it possible to hit 777. I should just rush towards it. And we're doing fantastic. I could go barrel. No, barrel of dwarves is not something I want right now. I want my dwarf. I guess I could go void party. Ooh, I do have a witch. Spirit's pretty good. I could have monkeys give 2x more coins, so I really feel okay about taking a monkey. I'm not in the mood for Quigley. Blue pepper is just very rare to pay out. Quigley is cool and all, but I'm just not feeling them. Removal capsule is great. Now just keep getting rid of junk like pearls and that sort of thing. Go witch go. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, see this very rare makes sense with the lucky cat. Lucky cat, I think we tend to forget how insanely good lucky cat is. I mean, cause you don't see it that often. Sure it's a common symbol, but I guess I just haven't actually been seeing it that often, especially not early. I think that's a part of it. So do I want a three per or a pool ball? It's like three pers are quite good, but I'm already starting to get synergies going. I'm already starting getting witch cat. I'm starting to get bartender dwarf going. No, I, I'll still grab a three per. Cause I mean, I'm pretty sure on average I get way less than three. Eh, only a little bit less. Another watermelon plus the buff the other watermelon. Lucky capsule is cool and all, but there's no watermelon. Yeah, rabbit's leveled up. Now it's my best symbol. I think a three per is good. I don't think I need to keep going three purrs now seeing how that's going. I might reroll here. I'm not guaranteed to get a rare. So maybe I'll just take the lucky capsule and be happy. I was just saying like, yeah, I don't need three purrs anymore, especially ones that don't work with my synergy. Shrine could be okay. Void creatures give spirits. Spirits get buffed by witch. But that's only with void creatures. I think reroll is still worth it here. That gives me basically plus 0.9 per spin, assuming both the three-sided and the five-side die show up. Because it turns the three-side die from a two per into a 2.3 per and it turns the three per five sided die into a 3.6 per on average sometimes you still get a one to end with but that's okay damn it sun is good i have a bee and a flower that's the thing with luck on sometimes you get too much <laughs> too much good luck i'm thinking i'm just gonna get rid of the bee flower so i'm gonna say no to the sun like who does it think it is anyway being all important and stuff like that always grab chemical sevens 
Gotta get that 77. Bartender's not doing it. I mean, geez. Golden Knight gives four. Four purrs that don't immediately relate to anything, I think are... No, they're definitely worth it. I mean, threes are borderline worth it, so fours are just always worth it. This is an easy skip. And X's are starting to go. Good. Skip. Dame drinks martinis, but uh, let's be real. I don't know if I want that martini gone. I actually quite like having that four per there. Ooh. All right, one void fruit down, four to go. Feel like I'm barely hanging in with, there with rent. Lucky cat is pretty nuts. I get a third cat to get even more luck odds. Both the other ones are really good too, but I'll take lucky cat for extreme luck odds. So now I'm looking for something synergistic like bartender. I could get behind that. Pool ball is just free money. It's not exciting, but it is free money. And it adds up to be a lot of free money. I'll just take a pool ball. It's one of the most underwhelming relics, like as far as excitement goes, but you can just kind of keep track. Basically by the end of the run, the pool ball will get, have given like 40 money and you know, there's nothing wrong with 40 free money. There's nothing wrong with it. Might be even more. I'm not sure. Oh, that's the last seven. Thank you, bartender. Conveyor belt be cool too. <laughs> yeah, that was bound to happen. Come on, man. I'm not ready for this yet. I do have a lot I wouldn't mind getting rid of, but I can't lose my bartenders or watermelons. If I like had a run that I I had a lot more often, then sure, I'd get rid of bartenders. I'd get rid of watermelons. Like if I had those way more often, but I almost never have bartender dwarf. I don't need rabbit fluff. I just need another cat. I think I will get rid of the bee flower. I did him capsule over target. We can give some good ideas. Oh, lockpick. That's a wonderful one. I could take... I don't know if I'd take safe. I would definitely take treasure chest now. That and mega chest have a somewhat okay chance to show up. Thing is, though, I kind of need a tedium capsule if I want to get a cat. I do like the addition of tedium capsule to the game. I actually really appreciate that because that actually lets me get cats again. However rare that is. Other void fruits, okay. Or I could just try to get a better rare. Try to get a better rare. Geologist. No synergy with it. I'm not going to force it. Let's skip. None of these options apply. Whenever you get three items that don't apply, take the common one so future item capsules can not give that. It's a very small change, but you know, it could matter. I don't think I take a safe with lock pick. Well, no, it should be fine. 35% chance to be destroyed. I think that on average, it gets destroyed after three or four spins. So that makes it like a seven, eight, 10 per, something like that. Overall worth it. Oh, especially if it goes away on its first attempt. Love hitting that 35%. Eldritch creature. Do I want to lose my witch? I'm almost tempted to say no for the sole reason that I take Eldritch Creature too much already. Yeah, do you know how many runs I've grabbed Eldritch Creature? I think even if we try to go for a win streak, I think I'm up far enough ahead that I don't really care. I I'm willing to just kind of keep hammering home the synergies I do have. Robin Hood is tempting. Is he? He's a threeper with no synergy. Give me the wealthy capsule. Damn, what do I get rid of now? Coconut, because I give up on the monkey? Yeah, that makes sense, actually. With my luck odds, there's no way I get a monkey, and I don't know why I was thinking I would get a monkey. Plus, with any tedium capsule, I obviously go for cat. You know what, though? Just if, in case a miracle happens, I'll get rid of the owl first. And then, just in case, like, I somehow stumble on a monkey. I want that to be a thing for a little while longer. I mean, a chef is okay. I have two watermelons and a golden egg. So also keeping the food around for chef is not half bad. Yeah. Yeah, I like how this is going. Rabbits are very good right now. Yeah, rabbits become nine purse. Why would I not do that? I've locked myself out of cats. I feel like that's actually the quintessential lucky cat uh, dilemma. They're still obviously worth having around. Go oh, conveyor belt. Conveyor belt for bartenders. Just make five beers, and then I get to absolutely pop off on them. I'll gra gladly grab a lunchbox, try to find... I think I actually want void fruits here to try to get void party going. I mean, that's barely a bonus when I hit it. It's like, oh, I get like four extra coins from the voids. I think that's actually way less good than either going chemical seven or wine. 
Out of the bunch, I'll go Chemical 7. Now I'll go Wine. And I'll go Chemical 7 already. Two-thirds of the way to another Chemical 7. Because, yes, I could just keep doing that again and again. That's why I actually really enjoy the bartenders. I love going Chemical 7 type things. You know, Chemical 7 type beat, if you will. And this lets me get it so much more often. Just in case I get a monkey. I mean, I can afford to do a little suboptimal play just in case I get a monkey. I'll take the big urn. Sometimes it happens. Ooh, another martini. And I got the 77. Because I have this buffer. I have a huge buffer. So why not just try to high roll? That's the thing with this game, right? You have to figure out how much risk you can take at any given moment. Sometimes you have to be very risk averse. Sometimes you have to play it straight. Sometimes play it tight. Sometimes you have a lot of buffer to make mistakes. And that's where I'm at right now. I generally lean to towards the side of caution when it comes to risk aversion. But I'm, I'm willing to... I mean, I guess it's not even that big a risk. I don't even know why I'm making this whole spiel about a freaking monkey. I'm actually going to go reroll capsule because whenever I get tedium capsule, I would like to take multiple stabs at getting a cat. Ooh, item capsule. Purple pepper is fine. I could get triple bartenders. Those are cool. And do I want a diamond? <laughs> it doesn't synergize. So I'm going to skip. <laughs> God. Anyways, I did get the essence that makes bartenders make more things, so they're just gonna keep popping off. That dwarf's gonna be drinking so good. Spirit's okay. I might try to hit something like another watermelon, though, or another bartender, which is okay. Just okay, though. Cow isn't enough either. Bartender. Farmer to buff the watermelons and golden eggs. That's pretty good. I could re-roll columns if I don't like them. Not now, though. I think I'll lose the threes and I die. I, I, I'm i gonna be real. The monkey is probably not happening. It does make sense to get rid of the coconut first. I mean, when's the last time I've seen a common tedium capsule? I mean, that, that's my ticket. I'm so glad that's part of the game. Rabbit is worth nine eventually. Oh, that's wonderful. Yep, keep going, bartenders. <laughs> oh, that's great. I think there is a point where I would have too many martinis that I would want to have a dame. I don't think I've reached that point yet. Gotten pretty darn close, though. Would I ever want a second dwarf? I don't know. Void fruit or treasure chest? Is that really a question? Void party is a limp dick essence. I probably should be like 2x more because 2x is really just plus 8. I mean, I guess they can scale with some other essences and, and items, so maybe they're just preventing them from getting too crazy, but eh. The treasure chest is, is fine as long as it eventually hits. That dwarf is so happy right now. He's just in a world of its own. Nothing else exists. Man, could have been cool if I got a monkey, not gonna lie. If I get three bartenders in a row, which is possible, I get 50 money with purple pepper. Pretty cool. I don't think I grab a martini. It's just worth four, and I don't have a dame. Well, green pepper is just three money most spins. Oh, yeah, I have rabbits as well for that. Can't forget. I'm gonna go reroll, because again, if I ever get that tedium, I think I just also wasted a uh, reroll at a different time, but I, I should start. Oh, it's tedium. This is the one, even over Voidstone. This is the time. I only have one reroll, because I, yeah, I wasted another one. Show me a cat. Cat, cat, cat. Not essence capsule. Come on. Flower. Not a monkey either. I technically had two things I wouldn't have minded. Monkey would have been the a very funny payoff. I think I would take a dame now. Whoa. Wild card is the one. There is no doubt about that. Oh, especially when it's next to the dwarf. You know what's up? And I'm just skipping until the end of time. Another tedium capsule. Come on. It, it has to happen. Time capsule could give me a tedium capsule back. It also could give a lot of good stuff. Probably going to be a wine. <laughs> uh... You know what? With the way this run is going, I can now take Midas Bomb. What's the worst that could happen? Boom! There goes my dwarf. That 
but she wasn't too big. Dorf's gonna pay out a lot right now. So at least his, his dying breath was actually um, being held so he could jug, chug the wine faster. Oh my god. Oh, wonderful. I probably will still take a dame. Yeah, I got two martinis. I'm probably gonna make more. I actually didn't lose anything that I mind being gone. I mean, the dwarf being gone actually is the biggest of the bunch because there's no way I'm getting it back except with time capsule. Rabbit's just a nine per. Bronze arrow's cool and all, but whatever. I'll take tax evasion just to prep against whenever the landlord starts making my stuff work worth negative. I need, I don't know what uh, the thing is that could be here. But yeah, now the bartenders are gonna start making a lot of beers and they start my co covering stuff up. I still like watermelons. <laughs> At least I have the dames to drink something. Cause yeah, all those wines. I mean, there's other ways to add dwarves. There's barrel of dwarves, for example. And I'm trying to think if there's like an adoption papers equivalent for humans. You know, can I adopt the dwarf? I don't think there is. It's just when the beers come down, that's gonna be kind of ugly. Wait though, I feel like the fact, the reason we're getting all these wines is because of luck odds. Yeah, maybe it's just less likely to get beers. Oh, so wines at a minimum, that's nice. Hmm. I don't like these rares. I'll try again at a different rare. It's actually not something I think about often, luck odds affecting symbols that come from symbols. That's really cool. Void creature or void stone? I mean, with all these wines, it might just make sense to go chef. I think it really makes sense to go chef. These forpers gotta go somewhere. And I'm really glad I grabbed the dame now, because yeah, with the better luck odds than the bartenders, I'm probably getting more dames. It's a tedium capsule. I now would take a dwarf. I would take a cat. Monkey, less so. Monkey is just kind of whatever. Oh god, so boss fight. I actually lose out on a rare. I am crushing here, though. But that doesn't matter. Oil can essence. I get two whole respins. I'll just keep it though. That's worth a lot of money. Quantum symbol bomb could potentially get me a cat. I don't think so, actually. I think I want to just take it anyway. See what the hell I'm even looking for. I'm just going to skip this in case I get a tedium capsule. Fruit basket's pretty good with the watermelon, huh? All right, so I'm respinning to double. I think I just find something that has an X and respin that in hopes to not get an X. Or is my deck so thin that that doesn't make sense? Well, keep going on the sevens. In that case, I would respin this column. Oh no, I, okay, I do lose a wild card. I need to look at how big my deck is. I gotta figure out what makes most sense to respin. It's probably not the lowest or the highest. It's probably something next to buffers. I got l worse luck odds. Oh, buffing capsules in the terrible corner. Sure, it hits a wild card, but it hits other bad stuff too. I will respin this. Yeah, get a better buffing capsule. It could be better. Lucky capsule's great. Moving symbol costs one more. Can't enable or disable items. An additional X. Ooh, that's a good buffing capsule. Yeah, I could respin this column. Try to get wild card next to the seven. Okay. No significant change. Still good though. Skip. Very rare symbols give one less. I do have quite a few very rare symbols. I'll reroll this column. Oh my god, I got a monkey. I think it's a little too late. <laughs> well, yeah, but now I could get a cat. Hex of Destruction's added, watermelons are worse, one less symbol to choose after a spin. It's putting up a fight. Will that be enough? I don't know. Show me a cat anyway. Yeah, I mean, I'm seeing a ton more commons now. Dwarves are half as good. I haven't had a dwarf in a while. I would take a dwarf too, though, even with its weaker payout. Skip. Oh, the sevens. How many 77s have I gotten this game? Do you, th do you think I've gotten seven of them? No, the bartenders can't make booze anymore. Well, it's been fun while it lasted. That's probably the last seven. Well, I, I could take one more lucky seven just from selecting symbols. That's possible. Wouldn't count on it though. Dude, those bartenders have been so amazing. Just a couple more spins. Don't need a joker or diamond. I'll just see what I can get here. Spirit. Pick a grave robber, because I feel like it. Void stones can't be destroyed or removed. Void party essence is never gonna see an end. 
And I mean, frankly, if I'm not getting enough voids to even activate void party, it's not like I would get enough vo voids to benefit from void party. And really, this is just the uh, formality. I've got a couple rent cycles left. 104 HP left. Oh, a dwarf. Last second. Drink up, buddy. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's going to give a lot. That was buffed, wasn't it? Oh, no. He drank it before its value was buffed. Well, that's a win anyway. That was a fun one. Let's get that win streak back going. 